Christian, which means that you follow the life and teachings of Christ and you practice magic just as Christ did. I can tell you that Christ was a, necrom a necromancer. What is a necromancer? A person who speaks to the dead. I can tell you that Christ was a sorcerer. What is a sorcerer? A person who consorts with spirits. We have all through the Bible how Jesus taught. How many spirits did Jesus talk to? I can tell you without a doubt that Christ was a psychic, knew what was going to happen before it happened. I can tell you without a doubt that Christ was a medium. Why? Because he could commune with people and spirits that were dead. If you believe the transmutation, the transfiguration, not the transmutation, the transfiguration where he met with Moses and Elijah on the mountaintop. I don't know how you can escape the fact that many things Jesus did look quite witchy, necromantic, sorcery, sorcerish <laughs> to me. Look at it. And look at it with fresh eyes, not with the eyes that you were taught to look at things. I love you. Valerie Love, ChristianWitches.com. I honestly believe Jesus was one of the most toxic relationships I've ever had in the entirety of my life. You soaring over here and crying out to God. How many times have I prayed to Jesus to show up for things that were actually needed and he didn't show up? These traditions and these religions evolving in the next five to 10 years. I see that more and more people who study this are seeing the health benefits, the mental health benefits, the healing benefits of religion and spirituality. It may not be conventional, it may not be what your your parents did but it's really this is something that i think is going to grow and it might be uh more broadly accepted because it works let us be sun drenched and beaming anointed let it rain let it rain on me now so be it so it is it is and so it is so it is <laughs> <laughs> I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and double honors to the elder apostles of uh, and uh, bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, fellow believers, you followers of this truth, including you, few sisters. Uh, anyway, um, this video, I've actually watched from the brother Karab Yasharala it's called Christian Witches damn what's next <laughs> so they've managed like this is nothing new by the way I listened to the most of the brothers commentary in the video um, and he was on point but this was nothing new they were doing this in the ancient times uh, hell he was doing this hundreds of years ago this is nothing new they just uh, masked you know Christianity which witchcraft which really Christianity is a form of witchcraft anyway because they've definitely bewitched our people to believe in a false god you know that is a false god and I'll give some examples or let me you know there's plenty of scriptures if anyone read the Bible you would know that that's what we were doing we was mixing our worship and our belief so to speak in with the worship of other gods you even had wicked Pharisees who was trying to bring up their own form of religion and beliefs so we can see again this is nothing new if you were a witch back then you're going to be a witch today it just takes time for that spirit to wake up so you can become who exactly you are now i want to go into the fact that what she was speaking of with uh jesus jesus being um who would they which they did call him uh you know a devil or whatever but um, here's the, the difference. The one you call Jesus, Yahawasha, is a control of the spirit realm anyway. So it's all of his. And it's uh, ultimately his father. So when you, when you had sacrifices, we made sacrifices as well. You know, you had the animal sacrifice. Well, guess what? On it, you have the right-hand side and you have the left-hand side. That's why he said when he comes back, he's going to separate the sheep from the goat. So the things that we did on the right hand side people did on the left hand side but to other gods that was the key when it said make no graven image of other gods right they would make their own gods and the, the children 
the women of Israel was famous for doing that, right? So we could clearly see the 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 um, Eve, you know, the, the the women of Israel, the Israelite women today, they are still famous for doing that. So you had the worship of the practices on the left hand side, and you had the worship on the right hand side. You can make an altar to the Lord, but then you had altars to Satan, right? So that's the difference. So when you um, when you was able to see future events or whatever the case is, you had things on the right hand side and you had it done on the left hand side. That's all. That's the only difference. What makes it witchery is you're doing it into other gods. Okay. Um, let me go here. They said they uh, they had what they call an insignia or something like that which goes back to the pentagram, which, well, let me get a scripture real quick before I go there. Exodus 20 and 2. This is why we're punished. Thou shalt, um, it says, thou shalt not make, have no other gods before me. See, it's different when you have, let's say you're the head of a house, you have wife and children, and they bring you a gift that's different than bringing a wicked Jake a gift down the street that you don't like. That's where the differences come. So for us to put up an, the image of showing what Yahweh Shah would have looked like, as these other groups have a problem with, or some other Israelites, we're referencing the Lord. The graven images and um, idolatry, uh, idolatry practices was of to other gods. So, you know, there's many stories you read in the scriptures, plenty of stories where they sacrifice to other gods. You know, you have the Passover. You, you, you sacrifice the lamb and you eat the lamb and you cook the lamb. Problem comes in where you take the goats and you sacrifice the Dagon or the queen of heaven or Baal, the main uh, demon deity. Thou shalt not make unto uh, unto thee any graven images or likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow thyself down to them nor serve them. See? If we bow down to the Lord, is anything wrong? No. That's why we get on our knees and we bow ourselves to the Lord. The problem comes in when we bow ourselves to other gods. So I just wanted to clear that up. So let's go here to this word, the pentagram. Um, it was some other stuff on here. It says, uh, it goes to, let me go back here. The pentagram is a segment of the con convex uh, regular pentagram join a circle around five points creates a similar symbol referred to as the pentacle, which was used by, widely by Wiccans and in paganism, or as a sign of life and connections, right? This is where you have what you call the Queen of Heaven. Um, what's her name? Semiramis, the, and they would call it a god of love. You know why they call it a god of love? Because of sexual um, liberation. You can look that up. Uh, but it says, which was widely used by the Wiccans. So I went up to the Wiccans. I actually heard about that. A guy came up to the camp and said he studies Wiccan. And I didn't know what that was. So we already kind of are kind of went into that a little bit. But um, Wiccan, you got this guy named Alex the Crawley, who was also a part of the occultist. Uh, the Wiccan, the author of the Wiccan uh, anthropologist and archaeologist, um, the contemporary pagan religion of Wicca was a uh, public intention writing some of its definitive religious texts and founded a tradition of guard, Gardenian Wiccan. Um, the one who came, who was this? Um, who came up with this Wiccan? It says here, I'm trying to find it, Gerald Gardner Gerald Gardner in 1884, born 1884, 
1964. He's the one. Um, Gerald Gardner, also known by the craft names Sari, was an English Wiccan as well as author and amateur anthropologist and archaeologist. I didn't read above. Um, he was inst instrumental in bringing the contemporary pagan religion of Wicca to the public attention. As we say, this is nothing new, and this is this man right here. That's all I'm going to say on that. But this is who Eve is following, right? That's who Eve is following. But when this happens, you're going to start seeing Jake follow Eve. You know, because Eve got a form of spiritual power over Jake. Uh, it says, this is Jeremiah 44 and 15. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by, great a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt. And Pathros answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that uh, thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. And that's basically what this these women are worshiping, the queen of heaven, Baal, the queen of heaven, and so forth. Now, it's, what's interesting is when you're dealing with these other gods, they do have a form of power. The Lord allowed them the, which, which, he, which we saw in Egypt with the magicians, right? The Lord will allow them things to happen to you and you think that it's the power of the other gods, which they have no power, but the, the spirits, so to speak, will allow you to, to uh, have benefits and things to happen and you would think it's from the other gods. So the Most High has got everybody in a trick bag. It's like the Matrix. If you were born to be um, that that foolish person that go to work every day, but you can't come to the knowledge of the truth, and you're just, or you are born to be a an athlete, you were born to be a thug, you know, that's who you are. If you're born to be a witch, everybody has to play this role in this so-called matrix. Okay, it says, um, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah. This is why you see a lot of Judah, you know, Judite women. And then what's going to happen, these women are really tampering into the spirit realm and the most high is going to allow them to have a certain spirit that connects and then what's going to happen is these men are going to become under a trance. They were broken down. You know, Jake is completely broken down in the queen of heaven's spirit anyway. So this is why when you see the men, they're walking down the street and they got the strap around them and the baby feet dangling out of the, you know, out of the, uh, the little case, the little package that's on them. This is the switcheroo. This is that spirit, right? This is that queen of heaven spirit. And now they've gone into witchcraft. A lot of you jakes don't know that women been doing that long before this came out. I had to learn that the hard way. Where they would light candles. These are women in the Christian church. They would light candles and throw up prayers, you know, to other gods. It says, and the streets of Jerusalem, for then we had plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. Right, because they're saying that when we worship the other gods, yeah, that was no evil. We did well. This is why this woman said in the video, when I worship Jesus, nothing happened. Why? Because that wasn't a real God anyway. But the Lord could have had mercy on her. Like we, we knew him as Jesus when we were younger before we came into truth. But what did the Lord do? The Lord sought her another avenue, right? It says to burn queen uh, incense on the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offers unto her. And we have done, right? We and our fathers, our kings and princes and cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. For then uh, had plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off the burnt incense of the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offers unto her, 
We wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. So what they're saying, even coming out of Egypt, you know, in certain sense, uh, scenarios, that, that's why they wind up turning to other gods and the Lord allowed it. And we're going to see this today. There may even be some Israelite women, don't be surprised, that wind up turning over to this form of witchcraft and magic. Right? Well, let's see what the scripture says. Exodus 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Right? Why? Because you are dealing with, uh, with uh, different gods, right? And they will bring more curses and spells on you. And that stuff really do work. So, you know, you Jakes, you better watch out for the witches that are known to, known to be witches and the ones that are unknown. They're there. And it's a, a whole lot more than what you think. We're also going to get another scripture that I believe was a Sakari or one of them brought out when we're talking about prostitutes and harlots, you got to go deeper than the actual word prostitute to understand what an actual prostitute is. Let's go to um, Leviticus 19.29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. See, everybody think whore is just dealing with sex. Nope. Lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. This is what this means when it says thou shalt not prostitute thy daughter. Because they was, uh, I believe it was the Dagon or Ashtoreth or I can't remember. It was different gods. And what Jake was doing is mixing religions. And what they would do is make sacrifices of their sons and their daughters. And their daughters would go off into these temples and they would practice this. And upon, uh, 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 upon the occult, the witchcraft, that's when the sexual practices came in. Before sexual activity was, was considered whoredom it was the act of which it was following that was considered of, of being the whore or being a prostitute right selling yourself to other gods that's what that was actually for but people only read that and don't understand what that is because there was women that was prostitutes right but you were not supposed to sell your daughter off to be a whore or go and fall into whoredom right of following the other gods and witchcraft. That's what that's talking about. So nobody would look at these women and say, oh, they're prostituting, they're whore. They won't say that, but that's exactly what it is. Once you go into contextual understanding of what it's actually saying, but that's what it's saying. You got to get the, um, let's go to another translation just to, um, you know, get understanding. Do not profane your daughter by making her a prostitute. Let's see if they got another translation to um, some says harlot, some says prostitute. Um, so there's there's different, there's different, a whole bunch of different definitions. You just got to go into uh, what the actual word prostitute, you know, literally meant at that time. Here's another definition. Um, Thou shalt not profane thy daughter to commit fornication, right? And that also goes into following of the other gods. That's what all that is. That's why it says Israel have gone a whoring. That's what it's talking about. And the land commit fornication and the land was filled with wickedness. And here we go. Thou dost, dost not pollute thy daughter to cause her to go a whoring. That's what it was going into because Israel was going a whoring you know, after the other gods. But anyway, we're going to start seeing men follow this, you know, and, and these men that get in the trap with these uh, situations are going to be under the spell of these so-called witches. And they always show witches to be white on you know, Hollywood. Guess what? They was, they was Israelites. A lot of them was following that. It was Israelite. After other gods, the Hamatic nations, it wasn't just white women that were witches <laughs> you know believe it or not it was well melanated people that was witches anyway that's all i have on that shallow